Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to make Olaf here made from modelling paste to go on top of your frozen theme cake. If you're new to making edible figures then this may seem a little daunting but I've broken it down into easy to follow steps so it's nice and simple and hopefully anyone should be able to make this. So we're going to start off by making Olaf's head. Take some white modelling paste and roll this into a ball so it's nice and smooth. Using the palms of your hands, elongate the bottom half into a teardrop shape. And rest it on your worktop. Then using your two little fingers, make an indent near the top to make a kind of bowling pin shape. If the bottom half gets squished a little, just lengthen it out a bit again. We're then going to use the Dresden modeling tool to carve out Olaf's mouth, starting with marking out his big smile. and then flattening down slightly the area beneath his smile, creating his top lip, which sticks out. And smoothing this bottom area so it gradually and neatly blends into the neck area. To complete his mouth, just add in the dimples, still using that modelling tool. To make his two front teeth, roll up a small amount of modelling paste and shape this into a tiny rectangle using the edge of a knife if you want to, to get straighter edges. Use a little water to stick this in the middle of Olaf's mouth. Using the smaller size of the ball tool, make two little indents for the eyes. Roll into balls two pieces of modelling paste and using some water, glue these in place. Make two small balls using black modelling paste, half the size of the eyes, to make the pupils. Again, gluing these in place using water. and flatten them down slightly. Finally, make two tiny, tiny white balls and glue these in the top right side of the black pupils, creating a tiny glint in Olaf's eyes. I'm then using a bone tool to create a hole for Olaf's carrot nose, but you can quite easily use the ball tool here as you did for the eyes. Apply some water to glue and roll out some orange modeling paste into a ball and using your finger, mold this into a carrot shape. And pop this into the hole. We then need to make Olaf's eyebrows using some dark brown modeling paste. Roll your paste out into tiny sausages and shape these into curved eyebrows and glue these on using some water.
Finally, for Olaf's head, we're just going to add in some hair. So roll out three little spaghetti pieces using dark brown modelling paste, making them all slightly different lengths. Apply some water to the bottom of the longest piece and add the other two pieces so all these are glued together at one end. Make a little hole in the top of Olaf's head, apply some water and pop the hair in. And that is Olaf's head complete. So to make Olaf's feet, roll up two small pieces of white modelling paste into a cylinder shape and squash these down a little. Onto Olaf's mid-region, roll some paste into a ball and do the same as we did for the feet um, but when considering how big to make this, bear in mind that Olaf's head is roughly the same size as the rest of his body. Do the same for Olaf's upper torso, but using about a quarter of the modelling paste. We then want to stick these together using some water. Now onto Olaf's hands and arms. Using the same brown modelling paste as we did for the eyebrows and hair, roll this out to create the arm. And using a piece of floral wire dipped in some water, thread this through the modelling paste. and use your finger to make this nice and smooth, ensuring a small part of the wire remains exposed. For the hands, roll out three fingers and a thumb. Stick the fingers together in a crow foot shape. and then stick the arm on top. Flip the arm over and stick the thumb slightly further down. Repeat this for the other arm and insert the exposed wire into the upper torso of Olaf. To make our last buttons, roll out three balls using black modelling paste and apply these to Olaf's body with some water. The last thing we need to do is insert a dampened toothpick through the middle of Olaf and pop on his head. And that is it, your edible Olaf figurine complete. Now I've used Olaf on top of a frozen themed cake and if you want to know how I made this I'll be uploading a tutorial shortly and I will include a link to this in the description box below. As always thank you so much for watching this video, if you've enjoyed it then please do hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this one then please do subscribe so I can keep uploading content.